Hello children, um, this is going to be my last video until after the Easter holidays, um, so I just thought before I read you the story, um, I'll just explain a few things. So um, the first thing is that um, over the Easter holidays, um, obviously um, don't need to do too much, keep practicing your phonics, using your phonics fan, and um, keep reading if you've got reading books at home that you are able to read. I've also um, included in the email I sent with the links of the videos on and there are some websites that will that have um, books for you to read like ebooks that will be accessible for the children to actually um, read as well. Um, so that's the first thing. Um, and of course, you can do lots of um, Easter activities as well that you'll be able to um find online and things like that and if you wanted to um maybe keep a little diary of what you what, what you're up to and we can't do much but um, maybe you and um, there's lots of little activities that you might manage to do inside your house or um, you want to do a little postcard then feel free um to email that to me if you do anything like that so i'll see it um the second thing is that I uh, just wanted to let you all know that after the Easter holidays, we'll be doing the home learning just slightly differently. I will still be doing um, three videos a day like I have been, um, but they, the way that you access them will be different. Um, I'm sure, yeah, I think you're going to get a, a letter or an email um, from Ms McCluskey all about this, but um, it will be done via Teams um, where um, each child um, will be given a login um, that they will be able to access and I will upload them onto there and they can upload any pictures um, of anything that they've completed onto there as well for me to see. Um, and um, also we will be um, going on to Teams um, kind of chat live um, at least once a week. Um, I'm going to see how we get on because obviously reception children are a little bit younger um, so I think some classes may be doing more um, just as a catch-up just to say hello and if anybody's got any questions they can ask them there and then um, what we'll do we won't have everybody on video and anything like that will just be me on video um, with the children um, on chat so the children will have um, their audio and their um, screen muted and um, if they wanted to say anything then they can unmute the audio to just quickly ask me a question um, but I think it's best if mummies or daddies are there as well to type any questions that um, you may have in relation to the work or how the work is being sent or anything like that um, so that won't be kind of live teaching or anything like that I will still do the videos that you can watch in your own time um, that will more be about if anybody's got any questions regarding workload or um, it might be that you say I really don't know how to pronounce this particular sound please could you tell me how to pronounce it um, or anything like that more kind of questions so um, we ha will have one on um, the Monday the first Monday back after these holidays I think our time slot is at half 10 again Miss McCluskey will confirm that um, and then after that we can kind of go from um, when's best to uh, catch up throughout the week as a whole class um, but I will still be uploading the um, the three videos on there and I'll put some little extra bits on there but again don't put too much pressure um, on yourselves to do things you know it's great to keep up the children's um, learning curiosity phonics counting that sort of thing reading um, and writing but um, you know what's best is that they're happy so um, yes just sort of let you all know, you're all going to, you might have even received it already, but there's going to be um, an email, I believe, sent out and it will show you what to do and things like that. So, um, and again, if you've got any questions, just let me know. Um, but anyway, let's get on with the story. So this story is called The Wizard of Oz. Dorothy lived on a lonely farm in Kansas with her uncle Henry and Aunt Em and her little dog Toto. One day the wind began to howl. It's a whirlwind, cried Aunt Em. Everyone to the cellar. But Toto had dashed for cover under the bed. The wind blew harder and harder until suddenly it spun the house into the air. The house sailed through the sky and landed with a bump. Dorothy poked her head outside and saw some friendly faces. Please, how do I get home? she asked. You'll need to see the wizard, said a woman. 
He lives in Emerald City at the end of the Yellow Brick Road. And she gave Dorothy a pair of sparkling silver shoes for the journey. These people here are saying, welcome to Oz. Dorothy's new shoes tinkled on the yellow bricks as she walked along the road. Hello there, called a scarecrow. Where are you going? See the wizard, replied Dorothy. Can I come? said the scarecrow. I want to ask the wizard for some brains. Of course, said Dorothy with a smile. A few miles on, they saw a tin man. He stood stock still, his arms stuck behind his head. Help, he grunted. I've busted up. Dorothy picked up a nearby oil can and trickled oil into his stiff joints. We're on our way to see the wizard, she said. Can I come? asked the tin man. I want to ask the wizard for a heart. They had barely set off again when the lion leaped out of the trees with a terrible roar. The scarecrow trembled but Toto barked. Oh, yelped the lion. Don't hurt me. I heard you talking about the wizard and I want him to help me be, 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 be brave. Let me come with you. The four of them followed the yellow brick road as it wound on and on past forests and rivers and fields. At last they came to a city of glittering emeralds. A gatekeeper gave them each a pair of green glasses and led them to the wizard's palace. I'll help you if you help me, said the wizard. First, you must kill the Wicked Witch. The Wicked Witch lived in a castle guarded by wolves and crows. But the Tin Man fought off the wolves, the wolves, and the Scarecrow scared, scared away the crows. Furious, the witch summoned her flying monkeys. Soon the friends were prisoners in her castle. Now you're my slave, she cackled. Get to work! Then the witch noticed Dorothy's beautiful silver shoes. I want those shoes, thought the witch. She waited until Dorothy was fetching a pail of water. Then she pushed and pounced. Dorothy was so annoyed, she threw the water all over the witch. At once, the witch melted away into a puddle. She's gone, cried Dorothy, quickly putting on her shoes. We can claim our rewards. The wizard's rewards were rather strange. First he gave the scarecrow a handful of pins. Now I'm as sharp as a pin. Then he gave the tin man a heart-shaped cushion. And for the lion there was a bottle marked courage. Last of all the wizard showed Dorothy a hot air balloon. We'll fly home, he said. But the rope snapped and the balloon took off without her. Go to the good with go to the good witch Glinda called the wizard. She'll help you. Dorothy was in despair, but her friends took her to Glinda's palace. I'm stuck in Oz, Dorothy sobs, sto sobbed, standing before the throne. Don't worry, said Glinda kindly. The silver shoes will take you home. Just knock the hills together and wish. Dorothy and Toto whirled through the air and landed back on the farm. There stood Aunt Em in front of a brand new farmhouse. Dorothy ran up and threw her arms around her. I've been on an amazing adventure, she said, but oh, I'm so glad to be home. And Toto barked as if to say, me too. It's a nice story, wasn't it? It's quite a famous story, The Wizard of Oz, and that's just somebody that's rewritten it so it's a bit shorter for younger children. Lovely. Okay, I hope you have a lovely Easter. I know um, there's not much that you can do, but there's there'll be plenty of things to keep you occupied at home, I'm sure. And um, I will see you all the first Monday back um, on our live chat. Bye.